Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the brand new Bicycle Elite from Penguin Magic and PenguinMagic.com. All right, so what is this deck? Uh, basically, this is the standard. It's the standard 808 rider back, okay? And it's in red. It's, right now, it's only currently available in red. Uh, and it's gonna be the deck that you're used to. You're not gonna find uh, a different tuck case or court cards, ace of spades, jokers, or anything like that that you're not already familiar uh, with or are not used to, but what Penguin Magic has done is that they have built in some uh, things that I think a lot of magicians and a lot of card collectors really love. Let's get on into that right now. All right, I don't know if you noticed this, but the first thing you're going to see is that this deck comes in the classic 808 tuck case, which means it has a picture of the card back on the back and on the front there's no emblem or sticker or pulse or uh, triangle off to the side that says now included or inside this deck. There's really nothing else on this, it's just a plain ordinary tuck case. There's also no tuck seal. All right, so why are a lot of these features important to a magician? Uh, well, for one, a tuck seal, okay, gets in the way with getting your cards in and out, obviously it leaves residue on your tuck case. Uh, but another key uh, element to this is hiding a card on the back design. If I remove one of these cards for you, I'll show you what it looks like. Let's just say a spectator selects a card, they're gonna select the four of diamonds, okay? And uh, we do a card to box routine or something that involves the tuck case, okay? I can hide this four of diamonds on the back of the tuck case just like that, and nobody is the wiser. When the back of the tuck case looks identical and there's no tuck seal, right, then the tuck seal would give it away that there was a card hiding back here. You can hide a card right there on the back pretty easily. In fact, some magicians will do that and like make it look like the card jumps out of the tuck case. Um, you can't do that trick with the newer tuck cases, okay? So having the classic back, that's nice. Uh, a lot of magicians sometimes will also hide a card directly on top of the tuck case in plain view on the table. So that's also easier to do when the tuck back matches the card back, okay? Uh, so that's uh, one advantage. Uh, there's another advantage uh, with the face also. So some of the newer tuck case faces have like a, like a promotion blast or some sort of advertising or decal uh, logo or sticker on the corner. But having the classic version allows you to actually have a gaff card that emulates the front of the tuck face. There are some classic gaff cards out there um, that are the exact representation of what the front of the tuck case looks like. So it's nice to have the classic classic box um, to be able to do some of these effects that involve the card box. Another feature of the Elite deck is that you're going to get two gaff cards. You're going to get a double backer and a blank face, which are great for magic. Now in a standard deck of bikes that you buy off the shelf, obviously you won't get that. You'll get two advertisement cards. So with the added feature of these two gaffs included, again, makes this deck great for magicians. So aside from the standard backs and standard faces, are there any other features that you can find on the Elite deck? Yes, there's actually two. Uh, number one, the cut. The cut of this deck is done in a traditional cut. Now this is different from a modern cut, and the traditional cut is more the cut that people who do gambling uh, routines, especially table pharaohs, appreciate. And so if you like their traditional cut, you're not gonna get that on a standard deck of bikes. And so it's another great feature for the Elite deck. And the second, besides cut, is of course stock. You're gonna get the new crush stock on these cards. Well, now what that means is it's a thinner, deck of cards. When I take 10 of these cards and I stick them into the caliper and I measure them and compare them against other decks, uh, the new elites come to 2.73. Now 2.73 is definitely on the thinnest end of the scale, okay? Some of the decks that are down in the low 70s uh, are, are definitely some of the thinner decks out there. And so you're not gonna find measurements that thin on a standard deck of bikes that you're gonna pull off the shelf. So right now, to get the Crush Dock bikes, uh, Penguin Magic is really the only place that'll carry them. Now, in the future, we don't know, because really Bicycle is moving towards Crush Dock with all of their decks. And it might take a while for the Crush Dock um, paper to reach retail stores, 
but I would assume it's coming, all right? I would assume it's coming since this is the way they're going with all of their, with their entire line. But right now, if you compare apples to apples and you compare this deck, say, against another uh, deck off the shelf, uh, standard deck of bikes is about 2.83. 2.83, uh, you might remember I even did the review for the black bikes a little while ago, uh, and those came to 2.87. So that's roughly what bikes are measuring uh, off the shelf. I've measured regular bikes as high as 2.94. So definitely in the 280s to 290s, that's definitely where bikes are currently. Um, if you look at the tally hose that I have right here, um, tally hose are coming in at 2.86 and 2.87. So a little thicker even than standard bikes, which is odd because a lot of people always like to argue with me that tally hose are thin stock and really they're about the same. They're really no thinner than a standard deck of bikes but not so with the Penguin Elite. So if you want these Elite cards, if you want this new thin crushed stock, and you probably do, the only place you're gonna find it is at penguinmagic.com. All right, so you've watched this whole video and you're like, okay, I'm sold, David, I wanna buy them. How much are they? Well, that's the thing. There's good news and there's bad news. The good news is they're affordable. Penguin wants to make these affordable so that they are an affordable alternative to getting your bikes off the shelf. Uh, we know that you go out there to the store, you're buying these off the shelf, but you'd rather have a quality deck with the same appearance. And so Penguin uh, is only gonna sell these decks for about four bucks a piece, and they're only $40 for a brick. That's awesome. $40 for a brick, I would say, just buy them at a brick at a time, because 40 bucks is nothing, okay? Right now, they're only available in red. I don't know if Penguin's gonna release them later in blue, but you know, if that's something that you want, definitely make your voice heard. Let the people down at Penguin know. The bad news is, they're already sold out. They're already sold out. So by, even by the time I was able and allowed to make this video, they sold out before I even got in front of the camera. So, but I still wanted to tell you about them, still wanted to let you know that they're out there. The good news is they're gonna be back in stock in early July. So in early July, uh, they'll be back in stock. My suggestion is just wait. Wait till they're back in stock and get them then. I got my deck from penguinmagic.com and I'd like to thank Kevin Rylek and everyone down at Penguin for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. Thanks, bye.